So we came to the Carolina coast here in 2021 because we had a gap in our database of white sharks in the Western North Atlantic. We knew from the tracks of the, especially the bigger animals that they use this area in the late winter and early spring. Unfortunately, late winter and early spring off the Carolina coast is a very rough time of year. We got seven or eight fishable days out of the three weeks and we produced on the lift two beautiful female white sharks. So when this study of the white shark in the Northwest Atlantic started uh, about eight years ago or so, we set a goal of about 80 sharks and we met the 70 milestone here off North Carolina with Charlotte. That's a, that's a major milestone, so we're almost there. Except that since the, the study began, we've added so many more projects and that has increased the necessary sample size that we need. So now we're working toward that 100 mark. So I think one of the fun things about this trip is we get deeper into the solving of the Northwest Atlantic white shark life history puzzle is the fact that now we're at a point where the scientists, they're like, we need a mature animal from the Carolinas. So now you know you're getting down into the nitty gritty of the last of the data sets they need to assemble this whole puzzle. And that's super exciting. We will solve for the first time in history, the full life history puzzle of a white shark population. I think the biggest thing that hits me from the beginning is just that this is our 40th expedition. And at the rate we're going, we're gonna double up on this in number again and then deliver something to the future that can go on beyond any individual person's lifespan, which I think is the real goal, right? It's to make a global impact on the future of the ocean. It's good to no longer feel like the young bull, you know, you're the old bull, you're more experienced, you're more efficient on the water, you've experienced a lot of different things so you know how to handle them. It's hard to believe it's been that many because I still feel like I'm like 25 years old. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's good, it's good, you know, it demonstrates to people that we're here to stay.